Good day, I am Don Tipping and I'm here in our seed room at Siskiyou Seeds. And I'm aware that we have a lot of new gardeners who are starting a seed collection for the first time. And many experienced gardeners may already have seeds from the last few years of gardening. And I wanna to talk to you today about some tips about seed storage. And we're a professional seed company that grows and stores and distributes seeds so obviously we have systems you may not have in place so i'll go and share how we do it but the key things you want for seed is cool dark dry and they're basically the opposite of what you want for growing seeds which would be warm moist and light so we'll go ahead and walk into our climate controlled seed room here we use uh, an air conditioner and a dehumidifier and then we override air conditioner with this cool bot, but you can get those online. When people aren't going in and out of this room, we keep it at about 45 degrees Fahrenheit and the relative humidity about 45%. The ideal for seed storage is to have the temperature and humidity add up to less than 100. So if you have a 60 degree room, you want your humidity below 40. If you have a 40 degree room, your humidity can be up to 60. So that's how we do this. We also use uh, silica gel packs in every container. Um, this type of storage condition allows the seed, some things like tomatoes will remain viable for up to 10 years. Same with large seeds like corn and beans. Pretty much the smaller the seed, the, it doesn't live as long. The larger the seed, it lasts longer. So we've got you know, all these bins and drawers show you over here kind of an example of some of our storage um, and these filing cabinets so this is uh, broccoli rob which is a, a sprouting broccoli actually related to turnips and this seed was actually grown in 2014 um, at homeward bounty farm which is down by weed california and it's still germinating really well um, brassicas can last a fair amount of time. We actually just germinated some kale seed that was from 2011 and it's still germinating at 95%. So if you store your seeds in good conditions, then they'll last a pretty long time and remain viable. If you don't, they won't last. So let's, we'll walk outside the seed room here and we'll look at some examples of how you could store your seeds in a less high-tech uh, environment. So imagining that you do not have a climate controlled seed room, how can you store your seeds? Find a place in your house that's cool, dark, and dry. Maybe a closet or a cupboard, maybe in your garage, but you want to consider temperature extremes. So if it gets really hot in your garage in the summer, that may not be a good place to store your seeds. Some people may keep them in totes under the bed or something like that. If you really can't come up with anywhere to store your seed, you can store it in the freezer, but I wanna share a little tip about doing that. So here I've got a bunch of seed packets. You wanna double bag it. So I'm gonna put it in this one Ziploc bag first, and I'm gonna get the air out of that, and then seal it, and I'm gonna put it in another Ziploc bag. And the reason I'm doing this is moisture is if you want to store your seeds, one of the enemies of the seed. And I'm sealing that one too. So in case one of the bags has a little pinhole in it, I've ensured that I can uh, you know, keep, keep moisture and so on out of it. Then I have a refrigerator. Some of you may have something like this. There's a freezer in here. And I'm going to put it in the freezer. And it can stay a really long time in there. You can see I've got some parsnip seed in here. Again, it's uh, double bagged. Uh, parsnips are one thing that do not last very long. So they're a good, good thing to store in the freezer. Same with onions. So let's imagine it's been in there all winter and I'm ready to plant my seeds. I'm gonna open up the freezer. It's spring, I'm taking them out. And I'll grab these packets too. I've got the parsnips and all my packets. You just have to pretend with me for a moment here. And I'm gonna take them over here and I do not wanna open this bag right away because cold air 
can't hold very much moisture. But warmer air, like it's, you can see I'm in a t-shirt, it's fairly warm, can hold a lot more moisture. So if I go ahead and open this bag, the warm, moist air will go inside the dry seeds and the seeds will absorb that moisture. So I'm gonna let this just hang out for a while and get to room temperature before I open it. So this is a really important consideration if you want to store seeds in the freezer, which is a great long-term option. But again, double bag it and allow it to warm up to room temperature before you open the bag so that the, you know, the temperature of the seeds has harmonized with the inside. So if, consider your seed collection kind of like a library of you know, over time, you, you, as you acquire a seed packet, you're not going to plant all the seeds in a given year. And I'm going to get out a packet of tomato seeds here to, as an example. You know, so most gardeners, let's say you're your average backyard gardener, and you're going to plant some tomatoes. Uh, to give you a sense of how many seeds, so this is geranium kiss tomato. We have resealable packets here. Some are, some aren't. And you can see I've got about 50 seeds there of just this one variety. You would have to have a pretty good gar big garden to grow 50 seeds of all the same thing. And tomato seed can hold its viability of 90% or more for a long time. So let's say you're only planting, you know, 10, 10 tomato seeds, like that many right there and you're going to store the rest. You want to make sure those ones you store are going to remain viable for next season or even the season after that. So that's why I wanted to share something about seed storage because these are a living thing. And if they dry out or get overheated, like the worst thing for your seeds would be to leave them on your windshield, on your dashboard in a hot sunny day. So have a good stash and think of it like your record collection or a, a book, a library, and something that over time you want to build up and, um, and store. My, one of my personal records of longevity for seed that really surprised me is I had some marigold seed that was 17 years old and it managed to sprout. It took a long time, but it did sprout. Uh, there is a story of some beans that were found in a cave in some in the southwest in New Mexico, um, um, an indigenous tribe that had habitated in these caves. And they were in these clay jars and it was 1600 year old seed and they got it to sprout. But you can imagine New Mexico in a cave is gonna be cool, dark, and dry. So just remember that for your seeds and they'll stay good for a long time and you'll be able to have success growing them year after year until it's time to get more. All right, thanks and may all your gardens flourish.